What's up, guys? We're back at it again with Touchdown Talk, a ZB Media Production show. Here to give a little recap on the wild card weekend in the NFL and to preview all of the upcoming games in the divisional round in the NFL and to give you the best bets presented by Betstamp. So let's talk about it and get into it. <laughs> All right, I don't do a whole lot of recaps, but we got to talk about the wild card games, especially the uh, the games that mattered most to me and most to the, I don't know, what the city of brotherly love. Let's start with that. An absolute embarrassment. Absolutely embarrassing. To put that product on the field in the playoffs. Yes, we know you lost five out of the last six games going into the playoffs. But you couldn't figure something out to have a little bit of pride in y'all selves. It was pathetic. Terrible tackling. Terrible in-game adjustments. Terrible preparation. There's only a few players that showed up. Devontae? You need to give Smitty his contract. He's earned it. And I'll go with those veterans. Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, they looked really good. Nobody else did. Offensive line struggled all night. There was no adjustments for the blitzes coming. Jalen Hurts looked confused. It was just pitiful all the way around. And I think it goes down to the culture, culture of the team. Uh, I don't know what happened in their minds after the San Francisco game, but nothing changed. Nothing was adjusted on. And sadly, it looks like we have seen the end of Jason Kelsey's career. It looks like he is calling it... uh, a career after 13 seasons with the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Jason, we, we appreciate you. 62 is going to be retired for sure. Legend of Philadelphia. Hall of Famer here in five years. Please come back and coach. It's a... Uh, we need a lot of... Uh, well, not we, but the Eagles need a lot of... Looking at themselves in the mirror. Jeffrey, Howie... Please do something. Uh, yeah, we've seen one Super Bowl, and that's more than we thought we'd ever see. But, I mean, I'd like my kids to be able to see a Super Bowl, so come on, let's uh, let's figure something out there. Um, but, I mean, hats off for the Bucks. They uh, came out and they played against the Eagles' weaknesses and got to work. Uh, talking about some of the other games, the Buffalo Bills handled business against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Kansas City handled uh, business against Miami in that cold, 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 cold game. I think I saw it was like 15 people are uh, dealing with hypothermia. 12 people were Ooh. hospitalized. Pretty insane. So, uh, But uh, now you got Chiefs against the Bills. That'll be interesting. We'll preview that here in a second. Uh, Texans just booty stomping the Browns. Uh, awesome job by D'Amico. Uh, obviously played for the Eagles uh, and played for the Texans too, but awesome job. Awesome job for that entire uh, team. C.J. Stroud just look, looking absolutely awesome in that system and the confidence that team has him. That'll be an interesting game as well coming up. And, of course, can we just talk about the Detroit Lions? Congratulations to the city of Detroit for finally getting the playoff win As an Eagles fan, I understand frustrations for several years, and I can only imagine what it was like going three decades without winning a playoff game. So congratulations, and Bucks versus Lions. Lions could definitely punch their ticket to the championship game. And, of course, the Green Bay Packers take down the Dallas Cowboys, making it a better weekend for me with the Eagles losing. At least the Cowboys lost, and we don't have to hear any more of the we damn boys. And here we go. So, yeah, that was a little quick recap on the wild card weekend. Let's look ahead at the NFL Divisional Games, obviously brought to you by Betstamp. Make sure you go check them out and uh, get your best bets in. 
It's never been a better time to get your bets in, especially in the playoffs. Where is legal to gamble? Make sure you gamble responsibly. So let's, in the words of the fallen Dak Prescott, here we go. All right, let's preview the Texans at the Baltimore Ravens first. Excited for the Texans for this. What if we had the Texans and Lions in the Super Bowl? Is it just a first-time Super Bowl appearance by both franchises and a first-time winner? That'd be insane. But let's look what we got with the spread right here. The Ravens obviously are going to be heavily favored. They're nine-point favorites at home against the Texans. I think that's a little bit much uh, for a playoff game. Especially against the Texans. The Texans got a very, very high-powered offense. D'Amico's going to have those guys right. Yes, I know it's going against John Harbaugh and the Baltimore Ravens at home and Lamar. But I think it's just a little much. I do think the Ravens will get the win in this one, guys. Um, but I don't think it's going to be a blowout by any means. I think at most it's going to be a touchdown game. So take the Houston Texans plus nine. But I do like the Ravens to win this game. I think it'll be a pretty big shootout for most of the game. 34-27 uh, Ravens over the Texans. All right, the next one on Saturday to finish off Saturday night. Green Bay Packers head in to Santa Clara to take on the San Francisco 49ers. And it's actually surprising. It's only an eight and a half, nine and a half point spread if you uh, see it. Uh, Packers looked very good against the Dallas Cowboys. They got the running game going and were able to balance it out with the play action against Jordan Love. And Jordan Love really was well protected. That's going to be key in this game for the Packers. But the San Francisco pass rush is going to be just tremendous in this game. At home, after that bye week, they actually had two bye weeks now with taking week 18 off. I like San Francisco, and I do like them. The money line, I like them by 8.5 or even 9.5. I think it's a 10-point game. San Francisco will handle their business 38-28 over the Packers. Packers will come out swinging. But it'll be too much with Christian McCaffrey and all the weapons on the San Francisco offense. Uh, San Francisco will go to the NFC Championship game. All right, and on Sunday, the next doubleheader, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers take on the Detroit Lions. Winner of this game will take on probably the San Francisco 49ers in the NFC Championship game. I'm excited to see what Detroit can do in this game. I think they will control the line of scrimmage. I think they will control the time of possession and take care of business in this game. I like them by a touchdown, 27-20 to 20, over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And finally, another revenge game, but it's a little bit different in the playoffs this time. First time Patrick Mahomes will be going on the road in the playoffs, heads to Buffalo to take on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. Uh, this would be this is a very very interesting line. I would stay away from this. It kind of scares me a little bit. Uh, just a three point favorite at home uh, at your best uh, sports books you could see. Um, I am a big fan of uh, playoff football with the Kansas City Chiefs. I, it's hard for me to go against Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes. I think it's another another year another loss to Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs for the Buffalo Bills and Josh Allen I would take Kansas City Chiefs in this one money line 27 24 Chiefs over the Bills that does it so setting up for an action packed uh, conference championship weekend, but that all that is all of it. I mean, we are down to just the very last tiny bit of the NFL season. So enjoy what we got, and uh, we've got a couple more weeks left of touchdown talk, and we're continuing uh, the season of horsepower talk. So if you like racing, go make sure you check out that uh, podcast as well. And go check out ZB Gaming, anything we do on this channel, the Meme Mondays, everything to have a little bit of enjoyment in your week make sure you hit that like subscribe button and share it with all your friends again go to betstamp signupexpert.com slash zb get you all of my sports books and get you everything all the exclusive offers only on betstamp have a good week everybody and we're back for conference championship sunday